What is up you guys? I am looking like a hot mess. I just woke up. Today is Sunday and what day? March 15th, I believe. Yes, it is March 15th. So I can't remember the last time you guys saw me, but I'm just gonna throw all this vlog footage together and then throw it up for you guys. Today um, is a lazy day, let me tell you. I don't really want to go anywhere because there's five million people everywhere you go now with this whole coronavirus thing so i'm staying in and i'm going to take this opportunity to organize my film room um get some extra cleaning done around the house laundry some organization we did get word friday after i left work that we are the schools are closing down for an extra two weeks so technically this next week we were on spring break anyway so they're tacking on an extra two weeks um, just so everybody can stay home and not spread any germs or anything like that. So I have three weeks. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to just vlog off the hook for you guys. Have some really nice weekly vlogs up of just stuff I'm doing, even if it's stuff around the house. Um, I'm somebody who can't just stay cooped up in the house, so I do plan on going out at some point. Um, but maybe that'll just be like super early in the morning or something. But anyway, I woke up today, had some breakfast. The hair is a hot mess, I need to actually go take a shower, but I figured before that I would get some organization stuff done here in my film room, particularly my desk. I just wanted to show you guys, I have stuff everywhere. I've kind of <laughs> organized a little bit right here, like barely anything. So I just wanna kinda clean this up. I have my eyeshadow palette drawers I'm going to organize right now because I can't even like shut this. So that's a problem. And then I want to go through the 5 million BoxyCharm boxes that I got. I accidentally ordered so many of them when I thought I was like canceled. Like, I don't know. I thought I had the regular box and that I was going to get premium instead. But I accidentally got Boxy Lux and the premium. It's just like a whole mess. So I'm going to organize what I want to keep and what I'm going to throw up on Poshmark. For those of you who don't know, I am selling a bunch of stuff on Poshmark. Um, it's up on my site right now if you guys are interested. And then I do have like extra like BoxyCharm stuff that I don't necessarily want. I have some shoes and stuff. This is kind of like my selling corner. So this is the stuff I'm selling. Some of the stuff I haven't even put up on the site yet. And then I just have all of my shipping stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this desk. <laughs> So this is going to be a box of stuff that I'm going to put on Poshmark and then the box over here to the left of me is going to be stuff that I want to keep for myself. So I'm going to take everything out. And we're going to get started. Okay, so the first So the first items are these Brazilian bum bum creams and Coco Cabana creams. I don't know how many of these I've gotten in my lifetime and I just don't like them. Like the smell is too, like, I don't know, tropical and coconutty for my like, or for my liking. So I am going to slap these boys up on Poshmark. They are, I'll probably just sell like a pack of four. Um, these are 0.84 fluid ounces. They're super freaking cute perfect for travel and whatnot. So if you guys love these, they will be up on Poshmark. Oh wait, Poshmark is over here. Next is from NARS and this is a, I believe it's a liquid lipstick, Power Matte Lip Pigment, so yeah. And this is in the color Warm Leatherette. And I thought by that name it would be like a leathery color, but it is more of a purple. So I probably honestly won't wear it. I would have loved to try one of these NARS lippies, but I'm not gonna wear that color. So that's going on Poshmark along with this one as well. This is in the color Call Me, and it is uh, more of a natural color, kind of on the pinky side, but I once again won't wear this. I pretty much stick with chapstick and 
Um, I fill in my whole lips with like a nude lip liner, so that's going on Poshmark. These palettes are actually beautiful. They're Boxy Charm exclusive palettes, and they're really nice. Like the colors look beautiful. That's what they look like. There's some really pretty colors in there, so I think. Um, I'm gonna keep one that glitter is beautiful. Holy moly and that gold in sneak peek. It's like a coppery gold Ooh, wee. Ooh, even that color pop-up Y'all I am going to keep this one. I think and then um, Put this other what other one up on Poshmark So this I'm gonna throw the packaging away. Okay, then I got two of these PMD Smart Facial Cleansing Devices. There's no reason for me to need two of them, so I think I'm going to keep one. Whoopsie. This one is in like a deep purple color, and then this one is in like a teal turquoise color. And I'm not sure which color I want. I feel like I want this one. So I'm gonna keep this one and then put this one up on Poshmark. This is, if I remember right, a metal straw. I'm not even gonna touch them. Yeah, it's a metal straw set, and it comes with a brush cleaner in there as well. And it comes in its own little like draw sleeve, what is it called, drawstring sleeve pouch. I don't like metal straws because I feel like they hurt my teeth and I just don't like them. So these are going to go up on Poshmark. This is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean um, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I can't use this because I have eyelash extensions, so this will be going in the cell pile. This is the Almond Honey Hair Mask, and I think I'm going to keep this. I know we got one a while back. It was like the strawberry banana one. I talked about this um, earlier in the vlog, keeping keep is over here. This is the Murad Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. So I think it's just an eye cream. I think I'm going to keep this. You can never have too many eye creams. And then this is the Living in Color palette, which I thought was going to be super colorful, but it's actually not, but it's a beautiful palette. But I just can't see myself using it, honestly, or ever like reaching for it. It's from Hank and Henry. I'm putting that on Poshmark. Mind you, all of the stuff that's going on Poshmark is definitely going to be below like what the retail is, so definitely check it out. Um, and then this one is a lip gloss. This is from Jessica. It's called Vintage by Jessica Liebskin. I don't know. It's just like a light pink. It's going to be really probably like clear with glitter in it. Going on Poshmark. These premium boxes, god, I can't, I'm just so embarrassed that I accidentally ordered all these. Like, how did that even happen? This one I already opened. This is going to be for me to keep. This is the Kilowatt um, highlighter in the color Trophy Wife. So pretty, so I am keeping this one. There's no palette in here because I kept it, but I do have another one to put on Poshmark, so don't you worry. This is the packaging from the highlighter. Okay, this is the, they're, it's all Fenty Beauty, by the way. This is in PMS. It's like a deep color there. I think I'm going to put this on Poshmark. I just won't wear that color. I know it. This one is the gloss in Diamond Milk. Focusing. There you go. Um, this, I'm going to keep one of them, and then the other one from the other box I will put on Poshmark. This is the Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick in Rum. And then the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Paper. I think I'm going to keep this one. This I'm probably going to sell on Poshmark. So I have another one of those Trophy Wife Highlighters. Poshmark. This is the Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. Poshmark. Somebody, a couple people said these are so amazing, so that's pretty cool. And then another one of these PMS uh, matte lipsticks in that deep color, Poshmark. This is Chili Mango Shimmer Stick, right? It's the Matchstick Shimmer Skin Stick, yeah. Poshmark. This is the palette that I was telling you guys about. Poshmark. And... 
the Invisimat blotting papers. Poshmark. Good morning, everybody. Wow, 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 wow. This is literally going to be an example of my outfit for the next minimum three weeks during this like whole quarantine thing. I'm sick of it already. I'm losing my mind. I feel like... I don't know if I can pull through. I'm just kidding. I know, obviously, it's a joke. Like, there's other people out there that are actually, you know, going through with actually having the coronavirus, so. I'm pretty sure I can just stay put for weeks on end. Um, I did want to show you guys my breakfast that I'm having this morning. This is the worst angle possible. Um, it is just a piece of sourdough toast from, I believe, Trader Joe's. I did half of an avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning and then a fried egg on top. So this is my breakfast. I'm also, of course, having my coffee. And I have no idea what I'm doing today. I do know I need to finish up um, a cookie order. I contacted every single person who ordered cookies just to be sure they still wanted their order because I know a lot of events are being canceled due to this whole situation. Um, and they still wanted them. They said it's just for at home, for you know the family. So yes, I still want them. So I'm actually just about done. I have a little bit more to do on this one order. I only had one order this week. I had to cancel somebody else because I was about sick of her. Um, and it's a Smash Brothers set. It's so stinking cute. So I'll, in a minute I'll go get some footage of uh, where we're at now and then I'll show you the final product. What's up you guys? What the fuck? This quarantine really just has me feeling some type of way. I just literally dreamt of the day where I didn't have to go to work for weeks on end and now that time has come and I feel like I'm actually going crazy. Like I just want to get out and do stuff. I. <laughs> It's so crazy to me, like, at least I have time to get stuff done here. Like I said, I've been putting stuff up on Poshmark. I, I'm about to make um, a bunch of cash envelopes because I think I'm gonna start doing budgeting videos for you guys. And um, I wanna have envelope sets available for you guys if you are interested in it. Um, I know some people don't want to go buy a whole huge stack of scrapbook paper and a laminator and lamination sheets, so I want to have those um, available and up. Maybe on Etsy, I'm not sure where, um, for as soon as I, you know, put my budgeting video up. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make some cash envelope sets and yeah, I'll let you guys watch me. Why not? Okay, so I got out all of my scrapbook paper. I have a lot. And I think I'm gonna do sets of five envelopes. So I'm gonna just go through these and pick out sets um, or like prints that go together. And that way it makes like one cohesive set. So I think I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> I just finished two sets and I'll show you kind of what they're looking like. So I didn't really finish it I guess because I haven't laminated them yet but this is like what one set will look like all kind of that mermaid theme. You have the actual mermaid print. I don't know if you're able to see that. So you got the mermaid print. 
You have the colorful stripes, the water design, the mermaid scales, and then just this like scalloped print, which it's like a different color on the back than it is the front, so it's like an ombre effect. So I thought all of these went really well together. And I'll have two sets out that are mermaid themed. Here's the other set here. So I just need to laminate these and they'll be ready to go. And I'm getting a call from my district. Hello? We have a little visitor. Can you say hi? <gasps> say hi, Bubba. Are you just coming to visit mom? Are you coming to visit? You wanna help me make some envelopes? I could use an extra set of paws. <laughs> God, am I funny? Hey, hey, am I funny? Or what? This quarantine comedy show ain't ending. Ow! God, you clapped me. All right, I am going to continue on with making these envelopes, and I will catch up with you guys when I have like quite a few different sets. I took a little break from making envelopes to have dinner. I had some pasta, and now I'm having half of a cookie. I don't know if you can see. Hang on. We gotta get you guys some clear footage of this deliciousness. I made chocolate chip cookies stuffed with cheesecake. Stop it right now. So healthy, you know? I'm gonna finish this little half of a cookie and get back to envelope making, and I'll check in with you guys, like I said in the last clip, once I'm all done, so I can show you what I've made. Hey you guys, so I've been working on these darn envelopes forever now and I got 10 sets done along with a matching like cash breakdown card that you bring to the that you bring to the bank after you figure out how many um, of each denomination that you need. So this is the first set and I'm just gonna do a very, very brief overview because I'm gonna do a more in-depth um, overview in my budget video when I announce that these are going up for sale, but this is going to be a cactus themed one So we have a couple cactus envelopes and then just some accent ones and it will come with the matching Cash breakdown card. So all of these will be laminated by the way. I just haven't done it yet um, This is once you figure out how many 100s how many 50s how many 20s so on and so forth um, you just use like a whiteboard marker or like a wet erase marker. Write down, you know, I need three $100 bills, two 50s, a five, and a one, or whatever you need. Um, and you just bring it to the bank and show the teller, and then they, it makes it just so much easier. So it'll come with a matching little teller card, or cash breakdown card. Then I have this really pretty like floral set. We have two floral prints and some accent uh, envelopes, and this comes with the matching cash breakdown card. Then we have another floral set and these have some kind of random patterns thrown in there that um, kind of match like the color scheme. And this cash breakdown card has the floral one to match that floral envelope. Then this one reminds me of like fall vibes, like big time, cause it's like darker colors. Um, once again with the floral, and then we have like this really pretty like mustard yellow color. I just think it's super cute. And I did the yellow cash breakdown card to match. And then we have that mermaid set that I was showing you guys earlier. If I can get it. So this is what that one looks like. We have the mermaids, the like um, mermaid colored stripes, the ocean water. The mermaid scales and then these little like scalloped uh, ones and that one's cash breakdown card is this which matches the scales so it matches this one here so I think I'm going to only offer um, actual budget kits like not just the envelopes or just the cash breakdown cards I'm not sure yet honestly but I think it's just easier for me honestly and for you guys too just to buy the whole kit it's not going to be super expensive at all but um it'll give you guys a chance if you haven't ever tried doing the cash envelope system to give it a try and not have to go out and buy all of the stuff to make your own envelopes so 
yeah, I'm gonna continue to work on more sets over the next, you know, week or so. And I think I'm gonna add little budget sheets to go inside of each envelope with, um, with each order. So it'll be part of the kit, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna really get that figured out. Um, once again, I've never sold anything on Etsy, so I'm gonna try to figure out how that works and get these up as soon as possible. On that note, I know this has been probably the most random vlog ever, ever, but I think I'm going to end it here and start fresh tomorrow. That way I can get a video up. Um, if you guys have any questions for me or anything, leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying your time in. Actually about 30 minutes ago, just got word that we are on lockdown. So there is no leaving the house for anything unnecessary. Um, so yeah, you can catch me in this film room for the next few weeks. God, I just wanna go somewhere, you know? Anyway, I am going to go. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I also made a TikTok. I know, I know. Um, you guys can follow my cookie Instagram if you want to see what I've been up to in the cookie decorating world. And I think that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.